Hello, Angelie. Hi, Terry. There's been a good deal of discussion here about emotions and feelings, and we, of course, always talk about reality and beliefs, and I would like to uh, pose the question, in what ways and to what degrees does what one believe affect how one feels or thinks or sees the world? I think that's a very good question, first off, and not one that we ask ourselves often. And I can speak from my personal experiences, um, which is that depending on the relationship you have with the belief, you see the world with that lens. Certainly. Um, what I mean by that is if growing up as a child you were brought up in a particular belief set and you didn't like it for whatever reason, then that view is going to affect probably in majority of the cases for the rest of the life until we challenge it. Right. And belief system, like many other things, gives us a lens to look at anything from, from a detached point of view. Yes, detached, but also from within that particular perspective. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's something of a balancing issue, because in order to know ourselves as we can, or best can, or should, we need to understand that we do see things in this particular way or through this particular lens, but we also need to see how things would look without that lens. Right. Not that either perspective is necessarily better, but in dealing with our own knowledge of ourselves and our feelings, we, we want to know both. Absolutely. And I feel like the belief system, again, speaking from personal experiences, for me it gives me a grounding when things don't go according to how I expect them to go. Mm -hmm. And often we blame ourselves for a lot of this. That's right. Um, and that's one advantage of growing up with a belief system, uh, is that when bad things happen, you have somewhere else to refer it. You mm -hmm. can refer to God or destiny or the universe, mm -hmm. rather than necessarily taking it upon yourself as being responsible for all these bad things Absolutely. that may be happening. Yep. Well said. So, um, how does one come to understand these things? Well. It, again, it brings back to what is your belief system, right? And what relationship you have. If you have a strong belief system, then what I have come to realize, it makes it easy for one to traverse the path of difficulties. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, That's because you always have a context in which to put things. Exactly. And a cause to which to refer things. Right. And that with that, you know, because there's not just the blame on the self that it, this is happening to me because I did such and such thing, but I feel everything presents itself as an opportunity to discover oneself. And certainly learn about yeah. oneself, yeah. Um, one's real self and one's place in things. Mm -hmm. And in many ways, you don't learn anything by saying, oh, it's, it's destiny. Yeah. Uh, or you don't learn anything by saying, oh, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, and it goes back to the point you mentioned about balance, right? So yes. there is destiny, but there's also free will and free, you know, free choice. Um, I feel at some point it works in mysterious ways. In fact, many times it works in mysterious ways because sometimes I feel when I'm trying to control and take hold of the situation, things don't work out. Mm -hmm. But the moment I let go and let mm -hmm. God do its job, things work out. Getting yourself out of the way, yes. as it were. Yes. Always, always yes. a good point. Mm -hmm.